Hmm. It says I am live, but I don't see anything. Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me? Can you see me or hear me? Can anybody see me or hear me? Well, this is annoying. <clears throat> Can anybody see me or hear me? No? Yes, yes. You can see me and hear me. Okay. I cannot see myself on here. All right. Now everyone's saying yes, they can see me and hear me. All right. Well, that's crazy. I can't see myself or hear myself. Okay. Well, I guess I don't really need to see myself, do I? No. I guess I don't really need to see myself. How about that? Okay. Well, that's fun. Anyway, why don't we start things off the proper way with the Denver sucks? I see many of you are already doing it, but let's get a bunch of Denver sucks in the chat. While we do that, let me tell you what I am thankful for. I am thankful that... The solar storm did not last very long. I am thankful for our ionosphere uh, for taking the brunt of this and letting it trickle down into the atmosphere as opposed to what we had the last couple magnetic crochets where it was just a direct bombing of the global electric circuit with electromagnetic energy from the sun. Um, still had, you know, an uptick in network outages, electrical fires, uh, system glitches, things of that nature. Um, I heard of several electric rail and electric subway systems that had uh, some service outages, things like that. But um, other than that, very lucky. Um, you know, a one bar of KP8, it, it's not insignificant, but honestly, if we were to have four or five straight bars of KP6, that would probably be more uh, disruptive to the technological systems of this planet. So all in all, it was a strong but short-lived geomagnetic disruption, which, uh, which is good. Uh, I know the title of the video is Solar Storms Q&A. Happy to answer any of that. Uh, but also, I suppose I'll answer whatever questions you guys have. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the rules. Please do the homework. If you're going to be asking a question about catastrophe, um, if you are being a snowflake, you deserve to melt. I don't know if you can see these other ones. No, I'm not going to answer questions about your location. Yes, Denver sucks. And in case you forget, there's the buck around find out chart over there on the other side of the board. Anyway, so what is our pleasure? this afternoon slash evening, or perhaps even morning, if you are living in certain places of the world. What do we want to see? What do we want to hear about? How does it affect shortwave radio? How does what affect shortwave radio? Ben, why does Denver suck? It's a populated area. It's a Democrat shithole, a complete liberal shithole, and there's more satanic cults there than in Washington, D.C. or in Hollywood. Rock Doc, thank you for the teal pair. We're going to try to not be uh, not be too salty today. <sighs> Can the storm affect the nervous system? Yes, absolutely. Uh, ben, you can be a brat. Yeah, okay, Ray, you can be a faggot. Shut up. Uh, yes, the solar storms can affect the nervous system. Uh, both direct impacts to the central nervous system affecting uh, ion charge processes. Don't forget, everything in our bodies pretty much every cellular process, and this is, goes double for the central nervous system, it has to do with ion exchange. Um, magnesium, calcium, sodium, 
the electrolytes, electrolytes. And so, yes, these things can affect the central nervous system, um, pretty much everything in our biophysical and psychological condition. Uh, if you have Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, that's in Chapter 5. Are you a follower of Christ? No, I wear this as a fashion statement. All right, I see we've got some things here. Okay, there's that teal pear. Another teal pear from KWG. Thank you. Pete Benson, hello, my friend. Grateful for your hard work, keeping us updated and educated. Pete, can't wait to see you again, my friend. Okay, we're caught up there. Cuban, I was wondering how the effects on the body work and why. Well, I mean, just think about it. Everything in your body, when you break it down to the small levels, is electromagnetic. So anything that's electromagnetically influencing your body has a chance to affect you, um, whether that's your DNA, whether that's cell processes, whether that's your heartbeat, or whether that's your emotional stability. Uh, and so, yeah. Anyway, your mouth says you're not a follower of Christ. Oh, what? Let let no impure things come from the tongue. Yeah. Given what's around on the planet today, I think we'll make an exception. But maybe that's just me. Somebody asked me what my favorite anime is. I don't watch anime. Makes you think I have time to watch anime. Can we d dive deeper into the X post you shared about the sun being conscious? I was more curious what you guys thought. I don't have any, <clears throat> for those who don't know, on X, which formerly Twitter, I've made a post today asking if you guys thought the sun was conscious, a living being. I don't necessarily have any thoughts or evidence on it. Um, it certainly wouldn't be a conscious living being in the way we you normally think of conscious living beings. But then again, who says our definition is total, complete, and correct? Uh, so I was more thinking about what you guys were thinking. And by the way, if you are not following me on X, formerly Twitter, we have so much fun over there. A lot more fun than we have here on YouTube. Um, the link to my Twitter is in the description box below the video, along with all of your homework, not just those, but the other playlists as well. Hopefully we are caught up on such things. Are you familiar with Javier Vino's climate work? And if so, what's your opinion? I'm not familiar, and I don't have an opinion. Uh, from yesterday's CME, it looks like the polar regions get hurt more than the equatorial ones. Is this a correct assessment? I don't know what you mean by get hurt. Um, they certainly take the strongest part of the induction. They take the strongest part of the uh, proton storm, if there is one. However... We're right now in into the wake and reverberation stage. And when that happens, not only do the auroral uh, electro jets light up, but the equatorial electro jet lights up. And don't forget that energy is beamed throughout the ionosphere across the globe where it can ultimately affect the entire global electric circuit. There is some evidence that at the mid latitudes, the storm enhancement in terms of wind speed, precipitation, lightning, hail, tornadic activity, is actually stronger in the mid latitudes. In fact, right about now, the storms are probably firing up uh, in the south, uh, south central, southeast part of the country. Uh, we could get some tornadoes uh, from that one. And um, there's no question that we are at the stage now where the global electric circuit should be getting surged from that ionospheric hit that I showed in the morning show. You, you, when we saw the, I mean, it's not one of the fancier things we showed in the morning, but it was probably the more important one the ionospheric uh, storm time correction. Uh, that shows um, whether or not the geomagnetic storm has injected directly down into uh, an induction phase of the crust and lower atmosphere or whether or not the ionosphere is taking the brunt of it. Now, when that happens, it is eventually going to affect the global electric circuit and therefore everywhere across the world, which I think is going to start happening tonight with those storms, um, you know, running up the Mississippi River Valley. Uh, but Yes, in ways the polar region gets hurt more. Uh, it's not how I would phrase it. But um, 
it just depends on what part of the space, whether you're actually talking about. Laura, thank you for the teal pair. And Sue, thank you for the teal pair. Tallahassee Remington, what is up, my friend? I haven't heard from you in a while. It's good to see you around, by the way. Mark Mitchell, thank you for the hippo gif. Kind of like that one, too. How severe of an event would cause so much mass to tear from the sun to where it would go dark that's not something that's not how the sun goes dark and uh the sun would have to completely explode if we're talking in that regard in which case we have bigger problems than the sun going black ben wondering if you feel a moral imperative to offer everyone this information and if so how do you deal with it knowing the majority of us will probably not survive yes i feel a moral imperative i feel like i don't have a choice I do happen to enjoy interacting. I do enjoy reading all these things, coming to conclusions, figuring out what's truth and what's nonsense. But I also feel like I have to do it, like it's my purpose. Um, how do you deal with it knowing the majority of us will probably not survive? That's part of the story, and I've, I came to grips with that long ago. Ain't everybody going to make it. Does a sunspot stay present and return after a complete revolution of the sun? Sometimes. Sometimes it decays, however. Uh, there's really just no way to know if which spots are going to survive, get more complex, and which ones are going to decay. But yes, it does happen. Severe storms will be in Georgia at about 4 a.m. Uh, I can believe that. I think they're starting closer to Texas, and then they will move gradually eastward. Um, but yeah, I, I would not be shocked to see some some strong tornadic activity this evening. Wouldn't be shocked at all. Quick hello to Barb and GSD Alpha. Thank you guys for being here. Is the federal government aware of all this? And is that why they're running the debt up? Or well today, have you done the homework? If you did the homework, you would know the answer to your question already, my friend. It's 19 minutes. This video, Earth Disaster video, it's 19 minutes. If you care enough to ask a question, give me 19 minutes of your time. If you don't feel like I have earned 19 minutes of your time, what are you doing here? For real. And I'm not trying, I'm not trying to diss on you or look or talk down to you, but seriously, before you ask stuff, you can't imagine how many questions this will answer for you, including questions you didn't know you had yet. You can't imagine how many. <clears throat> More super chats within emf wave is a equal cme and nemp same or different when influencing lithium ion batteries into overcharging runaway after bms is obligated so first of all way too many abbreviations there i don't know what an nemp is and i don't know what bms is um but a cme creates an emp via induction I don't know if that helps at all. Uh, so if you're just talking about a regular EMP or it is any EMP nuclear EMP. Yeah. Okay. They are slightly different, but I mean, they're both going to be devastating. If you get something technological gets hit by one savage healing, is that a salt shaker? Thank you for that. Appreciate it. How apropos. <clears throat> April 8th, what will happen after? Absolutely nothing. I have no idea why everyone is freaking out about this eclipse. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Oh, but there's this coincidence and that coincidence. Shut up. We live in a planet of coincidences. Nothing's going to happen. Comfortably numb? Hello. Thank you. Norin Rad, don't cast pearls before swine, brother. Yeah, I'm guilty of that one. The truth seekers are listening. The rest seared brains. That is fact. No matter what you share, they live in Denver. Well, like I want to be angry at you for pointing out, pointing that out, but you're not wrong. I cast pearls before swine every single day. It is what it is. Thoughts on insulating for the radiation during pole shift? Think plastic rather than Faraday cages. Ben, can energy from solar storms affect pacemakers? Yup. Yes, they can. But you can strengthen your body's protective energy field. Good diet, no drinking, no drugs, physical exercise, and mental health, well-being. 
being more positive than negative, healing traumas, meditation, all these things enhance your body's energy field. It's my biggest recommendation for people. What will happen to nuke bombs during this event? They will either nothing or be disabled. If you if you actually look into what it takes to trigger a nuke, like the sequence of actually triggering a nuclear bomb, that cannot be activated by an EMP or an electric current. It can be disabled by one, but it couldn't be activated by it. Okay, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? No, more questions. Uh, just get an oyster farm. Yeah, go down to Walmart, pick one up. How will the Nova coming up affect our son's coming Nova event? If you're talking about the recurrent Nova that is expected in our galaxy, it is not going to have any effect on the Earth, the solar system, or anything else. It is very, very far away. And it is also not due to the current sheet that is hitting our solar system right now. Might be a different current sheet, or it might be one of the one-off events. Not every single Nova is from a current sheet. Do you consider CBD or medical cannabis drugs? Uh, I consider CBD to be helpful. Cannabis can be helpful, but it's meant to be eaten, not smoked. Smoking is just not good for us. I know that's the pot spitting racial slurs at the kettle there, but do as I say, not as I do. When is the high sun activity settling down time-wise? About three or four years from now. Uh, suspicious observer since 2012. SJ, that makes you an SOOG. Met you in Tampa in the Mobile Observatory Project. Man, that was a great event. Tampa was one of my favorite events. It was much closer to Clearwater, I think, right? I mean, it, it was closer to Clearwater, but still, we'll call it the Tampa event. I remember that one very much. Great way to insulate steel tools. Purchased FYI closed cell. I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up. Thank you for the input. Appreciate it. What about psilocybin? I can't say I know the specific details. Man, I'm going to get shit for this one. But to be honest, if if you have if you got a pick... One to do between now and the disaster, I'd say psilocybin over over too much CBD or, or too much cannabis, if I had to guess. Oh, Stormy's here too. Hello, Stormy. Dude, your behavior in lives totally disgraced the importance of your daily videos. Well, guess what, Mia? Nobody gives a f what you think. And now you can't speak on my channel anymore. Mia was way up here, and now she's way over here. You see how that works? Look around, find out. It's one of my favorite things about lives. It's a block party. You tripped hard during the eclipse last night, and it was awesome. Well, kudos for you. God bath music. No, she was being a dick. Dr. Sheldrake does good stuff. I've heard that. I don't know him very well. Now we got a bunch of people asking about LSD. Just don't do too much of it, okay? Just don't do too much of it. You don't want to slip into delirium. I've seen people enhance their lives incredibly, and I've seen people lose their freaking minds. But by his word, the present heavens and earth are being reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. 2 Peter 3.7 Wonder the exact wording of that one in the pre-King James Version. The pre-King James versions are my favorite. BMS, battery management system, fully collapses at 50 volts EMF influence meltdown. So if they 
are the same that would say all lithium battery units could become incendiary and explosions in every home. Uh, I would not rule that out in the biggest solar storm, certainly not in the Micronova. Put it this way. I'm not going to have my phone anywhere near my face during the Micronova. Not that it's going to work anyway. Why did you select Colorado Springs over Cheyenne? Um, you know, Cheyenne's not bad. Not bad. But to be honest, um, where I moved, the seventh ranked elementary school is right down the street. Um, there were a couple of places we could have chosen in the New Valley of the Sun. We've moved to one of the best school districts there is. And don't forget, my children are, uh, they're, go they're matriculating through that system right now. Um, and yes, I, I am aware of the issues with public schools. Uh, my kids go to a charter school that likes to pretend it's 1989. They don't do common core math, no woke crap, no DEI stuff. It's good. It's like the school I went to when I was a kid, and I went to a good one, Fox Chapel in Pittsburgh, by the way. But yeah, no. If if you're in Cheyenne and you're you're making good progress on preparing, don't think that you know you're in deep doo doo because you're not where I am. You know, in Cheyenne, I would still say that the number one thing you have to prepare for is ten years no electricity. The winters there, they can be rough. I do know that about Cheyenne. So, um, but you know, that is manageable. Of course that's manageable. Just it's something that has to be preeminent in your mind when it comes to prepping in, in Wyoming. Okay. Hi, Ben. I like to believe all things have a form of consciousness from rocks to the sun. You rock and Denver sucks balls. Thank you, Mech Chick. Always good to see you. I got a feeling another Carrington event is going to take place. I'm worried our balls might be toast. Yeah, well, tis an ever-present danger. And no, Wayne, no transgender dance time at my kids' schools. Geneva Bible is best. That's one of my favorites right there. Do you believe electricity should be free? Not when it, not with the way we generate it right now. The way we generate it right now has costs involved it has risks for the people generating it so no it shouldn't be if we can somehow find a way to take it from the atmosphere it's a different story but then again that comes with risks as well every ounce of electricity we use was taken from the earth's magnetic field every single one of them i mean whether it's whether it's nuclear whether it's coal whether it's wind turbines, it's all spinning magnets in Earth's magnetic field and collecting that. We're literally stealing the power of Earth's magnetics. We become a more electrified society. So uh, anyway, what about steam machines? Should we build one? Yes. Based on old technology, lubrication should not be a problem. Any woodwork should be easier. I, I would say like the steam machines are good, but you should prioritize mechanical work rather than having them generate electricity because I, mean, I don't know how you save wires even if you i mean wires are going to be some of the most vulnerable things in this event and so let's say you've built your steam machine and you've built it to spin a generator or whatever you don't have any wires it's not going to help you and from what i've learned in my research making wires is not exactly easy what does that say i missed one there I'm retired Navy, give up on ships idea, think propulsion to avoid ish in the water in a boat. I was at the recovery of Sumatra, Burma, Fukushima, want a ship, learn subs. Okay. Got people asking about their locations again. Remember, I ain't doing that. Goat balls roasted. Yummy. Jesus, Sean. <sighs> Barbara Varley says, I'm not, I'm going to have to kiss my butt goodbye. I'm not going back to Colorado to save my life. Escaped Denver, lived in Parker, then ran away in 95. You realize that there is a lot more area in Colorado than that, but okay. Ah, uh, someone said I look like a model. 
In 2024, I'm not sure that's a good thing. Put me right next to Lizzo. What happened to Kong Papu Yen? Oh, fantastic question. He got in a lot of trouble for writing that paper with me, had his contract with NASA canceled, and they basically run him out of the country. He is working with the Thai government at the moment as one of their head scientists. EJM Jensen with another thing from the book of Peter, but the heavens that now be and the earth be kept by the same word and be reserved to fire unto the day of doom and perdition of the wicked men. It's amazing how much the language changes from version to version, isn't it? Suspicious observers seeking community and a fresh start. Seen on the observer ranch hiring is closed. Any chance in the future to possibly join? Um, it depends. If you're talking about being hired, I mean, who knows how the hiring is going to work out. Cat's mostly handling that. I am kind of hands off of that. We're talking about joining as one of the permanent members at the ranch. That's a different story. Um, send us an email at observerranch.com. Our contact is uh, there. I highly recommend Egyptian walking onions in Colorado. I'm going to have nightmares trying to figure out what the hell that means. Egyptian walking onions? Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to have to let that one sit. Marinate for a minute. St. Miles, thank you for the teal pear. Y'all don't want groups in the end. Be alone. I disagree. This will be much easier if you are in a group that you can trust. But you are feel, feel free to believe what you want to believe and go about this however you want. How about a raft system to float the tsunami out on the Mississippi River? See, when I hear raft, I think inflatable. Inflatable is not going to survive because it's not just going to be water. Remember everything else that's in the tsunami. Shrapnel, trees, rocks, cars, people, pieces of houses. You don't want something inflatable. If you're not talking about something inflatable, okay, maybe. You think the Carrington event and the Micronova will happen in the same solar cycle? No. Could there be 11 years of Road Warrior before the Micronova? I mean, in theory, yeah. If it... If I'm right on all the timing thing with Micronova and it doesn't happen till 2048 or 2049, but next week we get a Carrington event, we got more than 20 years. Yeah. Mm. What is the news going on about April 8th? Nothing. People are scared of the eclipse for some reason. You guys know there are two to five eclipses every year. There are never less than two eclipses in a year. For some reason, everybody's freaking out about this one. And yes, I know about the X and crossing and it's near New Madrid. And I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. 30 years ago, there was that same X and it was literally directly over Israel. A hundred years ago, directly over Giza. Trying to get people to locate the lithium threats. 18650s put five cubic meters of poisonous gas before incendiary. Oof. Locate threat. Isolate lithium threats. Don't lose your storehouses. Insulate. Please help. All right, well. Red the Dragon seems to be very concerned over lithium ion batteries. I'm glad you're on our side serving the cause of Christ. You know, I'd like to think I am. Do I have any... Do I have any reason to believe I'm doing anything that special? No, not really. Um, a lot of you are probably a lot higher in Jesus's book than I am. I got red in my ledger. I'm just trying to make up for it. I do believe I have to. Suspicious observers, what are you most curious about? How people can come on these lives over and over and ask questions without having done the homework. J. 
Joseph says, what are we talking about? Okay. Can you trust hundreds or thousands of peeps just like you? They don't know what to do with just one of me. You do want a variety of people in your survival group. You need an ark with drag lines and weights just like Noah can't say that's bad. I mean, building it's one, is another question entirely. Earth was bar magnet, but poles moving made it horseshoe magnet. Now, we're certainly getting closer to a horseshoe magnet. How affect us generally in our defense against CMEs? It's weakening. Space, Bobby, have you, have you done the homework, Bobby? Less and less space weather is having more and more of an effect because we are losing our magnetic shield as a planet. That's been an enormous part of all of our major videos on this topic. Even the daily news shows, we say it a lot. Anyway, I believe an X100 would be more of a blessing than a curse right now. I could see that. People in charge of this planet are idiots and evil. That's a horrible combination. Ben, can you explain to the steel bunker dwellers why there will be one big oven? Yeah, um, you don't want to be in a metal container during this event. It's going to heat up like crazy, and there's going to be lightning bolts arcing inside of it. Absolutely terrible. Be a smarter idea to go stand up on the surface. You need to change your diet. No, I don't. No, I don't. X refers to the crossing of two stars. Here, I thought it was a letter. I believe French people stole my birthday. Right on, Uncle Frank. Occults love eclipses. Maybe, but they like numerology more. March 22, 322. Skull and bones number. What happened in Moscow? They think terrorists may do something in the eclipse. If by terrorists you mean those valid humans who are not illegal and who have been pouring over the border without their wives and children, then yes, I think that's possible. If something happens during the eclipse, it'll be bad. Well, we have World War III before the sun goes nova. Unfortunately, it's looking that way, isn't it? All right. Suspicious observers, is the flood guaranteed to be as bad as going up to the Rockies? Well, don't forget, the waves are going in a different direction. The Rockies are going to be spared this time. Did you see Climate the movie? I, I hear it's fantastic. No, I didn't watch it. And no, I will not watch it. I am not going to spend that much time watching stuff that I know better than the people who made the video not trying to diss them in any way. I hear they've done a great job and I'm glad they did it. But I know all of that and I know more about this topic than they put in that movie. So no, I'm not going to be watching it. Is Vancouver safe or no? I shouldn't answer this because I said I'm not answering any location questions, but no, Vancouver is not safe. How about an earth shelter? Sandbags. Yes. Sounds better than Vancouver. I had seen Ben in a store in Colorado Springs. The dude's a stud. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Thank you, Zen. Appreciate that. If, if you've got a third degree black belt in jujitsu, yeah, you could probably whoop my ass. If you're just some random, some random person, you'd want to mess with somebody else. That's, that is true. Hard work hard fought for. Magnetosphere isn't taught in environmental science courses. I am well aware of that. Egyptian walking onions are a variety of onions that you can grow at home. Made All right. Thank you to everyone, all nine of you who told me about Egyptian walking onions. Susie, hope you're having fun living like a Viking. Nice whiteboard, Ben, over left or right. Lucky. I don't know what that means. But Dumpster Diving Dragons, it's good to see you. Thank you for daily sanity. Pole dancing against pole shift. Right on, Roos. Like that. 
ladies, by the way, are you doing everything you can to prevent this to catastrophe from coming? You look tired. Well, I am tired. I'm also in a cutting phase right now. By the way, if none of you guys have ever really stuck to a cutting phase, it will test you. It will test you. And for those who don't know what a cutting phase is, it's when you are, it's right after your bulking phase when you're building muscle. This is when you're trying to cut the fat off. My maintenance calories per day are about 2,700. And the entire month of March, I've been between 1,400 and 1,700 calories a day. So yeah, I'm tired. I wake up at three o'clock in the morning to do that morning show. I research for hours. I hit the gym hard. I play with my three kids really hard. I do nothing for myself. I'm literally just a machine doing this. So yeah, I do probably look tired right now. Anybody else want to comment about how I look? What do you mean about ladies preventing it? Chris? Will not clarify. What is the coming catastrophe? You know what? Fuck off. Go away. Like, it's okay to block that person, right? For saying what is the coming catastrophe? By the way, no matter what you guys say, he's staying blocked. So the greatest reason many of us listen and watch is to learn. But damn, do we enjoy the salt, Ben. Yeah. Well, I'm glad somebody enjoys it. I do look younger, but I think that that has more to do with the collagen I'm putting in my coffee. Holy crap, is that a life hack, by the way? Collagen in your coffee. Good collagen in your coffee. And if you don't drink coffee, bless your heart, because I I can't even imagine a, better, uh, a, a delivery system that's acceptable if it's not coffee. Unless you're putting it in like a protein shake that you're already shaking up, then it probably mixes in well. Defresh, thank you for the teal pair. Appreciate that. All right, questions, questions, questions. What kind of telescope do you have? I have several, but my favorite is my Celestron. My Celestron is my favorite. It's only a 10-incher, but man, I love it. I love it. It's not my most powerful. It's fantastic. What collagen supplement? I mean, it's the one that they sell at my gym, Lifetime. Some of the stuff they sell at my gym, probably crap. But, uh, I mean, that's where I get my collagen and my whey protein from. All right, can we get some more actual questions here? I'm literally having to focus to find questions. Given what you have studied as a guesstimate, what is the latest year for people to get everything together before it's too late? D given how weak our field is and what the sun is doing, you better be ready as soon as possible. Yes, I'm still making preparations and adding to my stuff, but I'm ready now. You should be ready now. Prefer butter in my coffee. Right on. <sighs> I miss butter and I miss eggs. I replaced butter and eggs with fish this month cut down calories enormously. Can't wait to go back. Can't wait to go back. Do you think the earth is going to flip or just the poles? How do poles going to flip without the earth flipping? Makes me wonder with the ancient astrolog astrological sites still lining up, or is that because they're post last disaster? I think a lot of them are post last disaster, but the ones in Giza, for example, Giza is one of the axis points of the turn. So don't forget if the ball is going like this, over here on the side, it's not changing latitude. It's staying in the same point. It's just turning. Do you have undergrounded observer ranch to avoid radiation? Again, 
for the hundredth time, how we are surviving at Observer Ranch is not public information. Okay. Oh, is there a new Robitaille video out? Yeah, you will all wait while I check. Hooray! New Robitaille video. All right, well, I'll watch that after the live stream. Sorry, Ben, not disaster related, but do you do any astrophotography? Nope, I do not. I follow a guy who does it really well on, on Twitter. In fact, I reposted one of his shots just earlier today. Um, he's one of my favorite people to follow on X, actually, if you're looking for astrophotography. Question, what uh, do you think of Archaic's info on the return of the Phoenix in 2040? Uh, I don't want to say anything bad about him. He, he and I did a fantastic interview on his channel several months ago, but there are some of the things he says I, I can't find the evidence for and I, I, don't, I really don't agree with. So, um, but I don't want to say anything bad about him at all. You've also been watching the sun 24 seven. You rock those charts were off the scales. What do you make our weakening state? Oh, we're probably down 25, 30% in the magnetic field. Thank you for the compliment, by the way. In the recently published safe zones, you highlight an area in central Western Australia. This area is barley 700 meter elevation. Is the map you presented a composite of risk or a projection of water height? Well, if you watch the video, there's certainly a composite risk. And like, yeah, I, I'm aware that there's nothing in some of those areas. It's literally just desert. Um, and that makes it more challenging. But that wasn't really the point. The point was, if you can get somewhere with your supplies, which includes seeds, um, you know, that area might not be too bad if you can survive it. Ben, do you know Timothy Taylor? No. Like Tim the Toolman Taylor? No, I don't. Oh. Reverse universe. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, Ben, hope is all, hope all is well with you and yours. Love your morning videos. Apologies for not catching all your live streams. Been super busy. Take care, brother. You take care as well, my friend. Thank you. You're young, you'll change your ways. Again, I used to be pretty over the top with my health. And now that I've aged and relaxed a little, I realized all that wasn't really necessary. Okay, Psychonaut, how young do you think I am? I'm 39 years old. I'm preparing for basically the end of the world and getting my children to survive. You think I'm taking a single day off between now and then? You're psycho. Not. Should we keep solar panels underground? Dude, your solar panels ain't going to work. Solar pan. It's like, when do you bring them back out? If there's a Carrington event, how do you know there's not going to be another major flare three weeks later. If you keep them underground until after the micronova, do you know what comes after the micronova? Weeks and weeks of super flaring. How are you going to know when that's over? I'm preparing for, I'm completely preparing for a pre-industrialized society. You know, my dog is going nuts downstairs. Is somebody at my door? Oh, my neighbor came over with his kids. How unfortunate that I'm busy at the moment. All right, did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? No, back to questions. Hi, Ben. I live in Eastern Europe, and I can't figure out which direction the waves will come. Can you please tell us? From the south. How do heart stents get affected by these massive CMEs? The stent. Isn't that just the thing that widens the blood vessel? I'm, I'm not a doctor. But, I mean, a, a stent isn't a electrified technological device, right? All right. Yeah. 
you guys couldn't get out of the way of that recent X.3, X6.3 a few weeks ago, X-ray zap. Yeah, X-rays don't get past the ionosphere in ozone. Tornado about to touch down just west of Jackson, Mississippi. Well, that does not surprise me. Uh, again, all right, you know, I'll actually go pull it up. Let's see the storm time correction now. Uh, it is correcting, which means that energy is being injected from the ionosphere down through the global electric circuit. Yep, I'm thinking that these storms in the southern to southeastern part of the country tonight, they're going to be rough. It's, it's taking that energy right now. By the way, I just want to take a second. It's so weird doing this and not being able to see myself. I have no idea what's wrong with YouTube right now, but I can't see myself. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me off. Have you seen what's going on with the red heifers in Israel? Haven't been sacrificed in 2,000 years since Noah and the flood. What if it's just a bunch of people who want to, like, make the prophecy seem like it's coming true? Like, does God's work and do the physics of the universe alter themselves because a couple of ding-dongs in one part of the world decide they want to do something to try to make it seem like something, something? I don't know. It's interesting. All right, hold on. Do you think that? No, that's not it. And somebody was at. Somebody said, "Do your kids or something." I, I can't find it now. Will you be posting on YouTube after the catastrophe? That's funny. I'm going back. I'm trying to find that question. I might be a grandpa by the time this thing comes around. You never know. Angelina Grace. There's not a whole lot of hanky-panky in the papers on electromagnetic health impacts. The hanky-panky comes mostly in the climate game and in the NOVA game. Other than that, most scientists are not our enemies. Best evidence of global electric circuit interaction with weather and climate, the impact to the pressure cells. Goliath Slayer, thank you for the teal pair. Here's another paper from the DTIC archive, not an official U.S. government stance, just an academic paper. All right, well, it appears I can't really. Does that work? All right, well, the forerunner. For some reason, I can't click on that. You want to shoot me that in an email or something? All right, let me try it again. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, that's an interesting paper. I happen to know Major Smith, by the way. Cool. Do your kids know what's going to happen? Kira does because she sees it in dreams, which is real freaking scary for a parent. But in general, I don't talk to my kids about this. Kira's about to be nine. Noah just turned seven. Adam just turned four. All right, somebody's saying, Ben, I have family members who are still climate brainwashed. Where is the first video I should share with them to open their minds? Don't. Don't. They won't listen. There is nothing you can do. The board is set. At this point, people have made up their minds and people aren't changing. The only thing you're going to do 
is potentially cause strife between you and your family. Do not talk about Fight Club. You can leave breadcrumbs, and then if they happen to see something and it sparks something, they might come back to you and ask. But no, I wouldn't go trying to change people or trying to ram anything down anyone's throat. It's just not going to work. It's unfortunate. Wow, I missed a lot there, didn't I? Okay, thanks for your efforts. Would you be open to being interviewed on my channel to a young Gen Z audience? 60,000. And if so, best way to contact you directly, either via email on the Observer Ranch website or via Twitter, X. If it goes through the Observer Ranch website, it'll go through Cat, then it'll come to me. If you go through Twitter, it'll come directly to me. Thank you for all you share. You are greatly appreciated. Thank you, Katie. That was very nice. Really liked you in the new Roundhouse movie. <laughs> a lot of people say I look like him. I don't think I do. But hey, if you think I look like him, right on. Thank you. Yeah, worked really hard on the new Roundhouse movie. Roadhouse movie. Roundhouse? Roadhouse? Is it Roadhouse or Roundhouse? I thought it was the second one. No days off. Hey, Susie. You need to prepare every day. Do something every day to survival mode. Plan ahead. Get supplies now. Live like a Viking. If poles are flipping between two locations regularly, is there evidence of past regular presence of a pole in South America? Um, there is, but the vast majority of the places they'd want to dig, they're not. They're not digging. They don't do corings in the middle of the Amazon. They don't do corings in the East Pacific off the coast of Ecuador. Um, there is evidence, but uh, you have to know what you're looking for. Not to mention that all the evidence of the flipping is in the disaster video. I see. Do the homework. It's there. After this all happens, how will you be able to see the sun to study it? I'm, I have no plans on doing that. Ninja Bat, there will not be any 1,000-mile-an-hour winds. There will not be 1,000-mile-an-hour winds. If those were a part of the disaster cycle, there would be nothing left. We wouldn't be here right now. What if the Earth has never spun and they lied to us about the global Earth? I don't even know what to say. No. No. And I get it. You've got mRNA biotech in your name, so you're into the alternative things. Do not drive so fast towards the conspiracy side of things that you drive right off a cliff. A vast, vast percentage of the alternative or conspiracy stuff is freaking nonsense. And a lot of it was put there to confuse the people who can see that side of the coin. If it is okay for an MRI machine, it is okay for electrical magnetic issues. Eh, maybe in some cases, but induced electric current is a lot different than magnetic fields. Alan, that is a ridiculous comment. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Oh. All right. Got some things, yeah. Mary, hello, Mary. How are you? Thank you for the teal pair. Considering the acceleration of CME impact, is it increased eject to speed, missing, weakened, outermost electromagnetic shielding, or is it increased earth-based conduction or all the above? It is the weakened shield, allowing allowing the same level of CME as 20 years ago to do more because our shield is weak. It's like shooting somebody with a bulletproof vest 20 years ago. Now they don't have a bulletproof vest. They've just got uh, three sweaters on. Bo, hey, Bo, what's up? Thank you for the flying teal pair. Have you noticed the K index color scheme has been changed a few months ago? Yes, I noticed. Orange and red need higher ratings now. Is this to change our perception? 
I mean, maybe, but the numbers are still the same. So, I mean, they're sort of they're sort of sniping at the bottom of the barrel, if that's the idea. I think it was just a color change. Yes, I heard about salty crackers. I still don't know what it is, but people told me I was on salty crackers. I don't know what that is. Sounds funny. Sounds like me. Hello again, Susie. My daughter dreams in color. Do most of y'all not dream in color? GSD Alpha, thank you for answering that question. Yes, Planet X is BS. Will electric starters or 12-volt batteries be affected? Almost certainly. That's why the disaster vehicle, the Big Burb, uses an air starter. All right, just a couple minutes left, guys. How can one go about saving tech like ebooks, computer in general, and any other gadgets that use electricity in general? They can't. It's not going to happen. If you have ebooks, print them out. How am I going to save all, all, this, all the movies I bought on Amazon Prime? How are you, Ben? Oh, I'm fantastic. Will this affect our stents placed in our hearts and other arteries? Maybe. Are they metal or polymer? How's your body's energy feel? That's a way better question. So many of these questions about, oh, I have this in me, or hey, is this going to affect my condition? Just strengthen your body feel. Just strengthen your body feel. That, that's going to be my answer to pretty much all anything like that. There are objects behind the sun. No, there are not. And to whoever it is that's telling you that, I know more than they do. We are tracking the pole shift today. If the planet is going to flip, why is an Earth moving with this transition? Clandestine, I see you haven't done the homework. The magnetic poles are moving, but there will be no geographic tilt until the micronova unlocks the crust from the mantle. Everybody got that? The magnetic poles are moving now. There will be no tilting of the planet until the crust is unlocked by the micronova. Do the homework. Nobody told me I saw a dwarf star. No, you didn't, Mike. You didn't see jack shit. What, you, you got better technology than me and 100,000 other near professional astronomers out there? You think we're all just lying? You think you saw something that none of the rest of us could see? There is nothing up there. Thanks for always answering my complex questions. Right on, Uber Archangel. I love your name. Susie, thank you for the teal pair. That makes me happy. It's behind the sun. Then how the f did you see it? Mike, one more. I'm blocking you because you're spouting nonsense. If it's behind the sun, no, you can't see it. There is no way you could see it. Two, if there was a way to see it from Earth, me and the 100,000 other people out there who are better at this than you would have seen it. Now, shut your mouth. So Faraday cages won't work. I prefer plastic. I prefer plastic. Somebody's asking about ammunition. Yes, ammunition poses a threat. Put it in plastic. For all, it's possible nothing will happen to ammunition. It's possible they'll start popcorning. I don't know. It popped out briefly from behind the sun. Oh, and what? And then it went back. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Goodbye.
Yeah, because that's how things orbit and that's how things move. They come in directly behind something, then they peek out to make sure no one's watching, and then they go back to hiding. Dumbass. This is my life. This is my life. I have a metal bar on my collarbone. Should I take it out for the light show? Am I crazy or both glow? Strengthen your body energy field. I'm not going to give any other answer except that to all these kinds of questions. I believe I just said I was only going to give that answer like five minutes ago. What the hell is happening right now? Ben, are you friends with Jeremy? No. I do know him. But no. Anyway, this has been a wonderful hour. Can you mention the 17 criteria you use to buy Observer Ranch? No, because I'm about to end the show. But anyway, guys, yeah, strengthen your body field. There will be no earth tilt until the solar micronova unlocks the crust from the mantle. Other than that, do you actually like Tim Pool? I have nothing bad to say about him. I don't watch him regularly enough to have an opinion, but they were gracious hosts. He was a very nice guy, and he's got a pretty cool little setup going there. Um, anyway, guys, this has been really fun. Super fun. You're literally insane. No shit. But I'm also really, really good at what I do. And don't forget, you have to be lost to find the places can't be found. Elseways, everyone would know where they were. I will see you guys in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.